but I'm just gonna share this out there. So the first time I went, I wanted to get this limited edition Pinocchio pin. So this is it. And you can see it's Pinocchio with the glow in the dark. It says up here, star, right? So I got it and I got home and I looked at it and it looked weird. So I went back, they couldn't exchange it. They couldn't give me another one just like it. So I had to buy another one. But already immediately you can see the difference because this star actually does glow and this one is much more dull as you can see. When I took out this pin, the first one, what will you see what I saw? I was like, wait a minute. I've learned from Sarah's Disney magic. Something's not right here because Sarah on her channel has done such a fabulous job. As far as I'm concerned, she's one of the most amazing pin traders out there. And she said, you have to look for the waffle pattern. Well, it had that, but there was like discoloration. So I'm going to show it to you, which brings me to this phase. So now I'm going to flip these around and I'm going to show you what I saw. Look carefully at the back of these pins. Can you see something is off? This one, it looks like it's been brushed in the back since these were just released. And I'm gonna trade this, switch these, so if you think it's the lighting, it's not. This one, which is over here, this one is very dull. And this one, as you can see, is not. This is shiny. The writing is even, the waffle pattern's fine. The waffle pattern is fine in this, but it's so dull on the back. So then I flipped it around to the front and I tell ya, there you go. There's a difference. See, look at this, see how it's very flat and even. The enamel is completely flat. There's no ripples, nothing. You come over here and when you look at those stars, there are ripples in that, and I wish you could see it even closer, like hold it in your hand. You would see there are like ripples in that blue twinkling sky. Plus, look at the star. It's completely dull. Look at this star. It's practically glowing just by itself without even being un any, under any light. So I had to go back Pin HQ because they're my reliable source for anything pins. And I took them in and I found out that they're both legit pins. They were just released this month, but this one was uh, screwed up in the production line. And the nicest gentleman told me there that it should have been scrapped, but they didn't scrap it. They boxed it. And I understood, I didn't give the cast member a hard time when she said, she couldn't exchange it for another one. And I just went ahead and bought another one because, well, there was a long line. And then also, um, you know, it's not in, in their hands. I don't think it is. I think it's, you know, management maybe tells them that they can't do that. So they're just following orders. Life's too short, didn't want to hassle it. So I just bought another one for my collection, but I'm keeping both <laughs> so I can talk about this. If I ever decide to trade it, I can show whoever gets these I might even throw it in with it, who knows? But yeah, conversation piece for sure. Hey friends, okay, so I showed you the faux pas in the pins uh, at Pin Traders at Disney Springs. So always check your pins there on the spot, I would say, right when you're there. Anyway, I realize it's a fluke, but anywho, I wanna show you what I got at Pin HQ. So I got ta, 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 this wonderful bag. Isn't this a nice bag that they put everything in? I mean, I can reuse this and take it to Aldi's. Now, the person who turned me on to these boards was Coco for Disney. When she displays her beautiful pins, she does so on these boards and they come in all different colors, but I don't know, I've been drawn to green lately. <laughs> so I got the green board, but it's, thicker than felt and you can put pins take them on and off as many times as you want you get 
two in a package and I'm going to measure it for you right now. So these are 12 inches this way by 10 inches this way. And I love how they smell. Hmm, they smell nice and new. <laughs> I finally got a display board because I always keep my pins inside like a, it looks like a suitcase and it, it's safe, it's very safe. I got it on Amazon, however, I want to display my pins, especially the really pretty ones that I've, you know, paid a lot for. I want to show those off. So I want to hang this in my room. I know right where I'm going to hang this. And so I got this and this is 20 and a half inches by a foot across. And so it's, I'll be able to put a lot of pins on this, but I really like these and they sell these. This was $20. I think that's a really phenomenal price. It has a really nice cord on the top. It's very thick. It's not gonna fall apart. Really well made. And yeah, so this was something I, this is the reason I went in the first place is because I wanted to get this. <laughs> Next, I got this. This is by Loungefly. It's a limited edition. And check this out, friends. One minute you see beautiful Snow White in the forest with her little bird friends. And then you flip it this way. And it's the apple. You can see the apple. So now this was a limited edition of 1200. So I love this. I had to get this. So yeah, that's going on my board. Then I got Bambi. This is a limited edition of a thousand and it's a lounge line. And I'm going to show you what it looks like because you open it up and the owner of the store showed this to me and I said, she showed it to me and, <laughs> and I said, oh, you shouldn't have shown me that. So here it is, and this is Bambi. You can see it's written exactly like the script from the film, classic, such a Walt Disney classic. And then you open it up and look at that inside. It tells the story and it's just so precious. I mean, it looks just like the art inside a classic book. So, I had to get this. I just, yeah, it was calling my name. And the Snow White pin has the same backing, I'm sure, because it's the same line of pins, but it's crowns. You see those crowns? And then it says Disney, it's stamped Disney. Pin backings, grippers, whatever you want to call them. But can you see that crown? in there, embossed in there, and um, the waffle pattern with that. So yeah, I, I succumbed, I, I had to, I had to get this. So I don't know if I should say this or not, but because I purchased quite a bit, they gave me these, they threw those in there. It was so nice of them. This is made of the same material as this, as the pin boards, the pin folio boards. So, and this is three and a half inches by five inches. So say I'm going to the parks like I do regularly, I can just put some of my favorite pins on there and, you know, see if I want to trade them. So yeah, it was really nice. So friends, thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe. It helps this old lady's algorithm. And I hope you have a really wonderful week. I'm going to be filming live in the parks next week. Okay. Thanks for watching.